So in this video I'm going to show you how to replace a damaged uh, screen of a laptop uh, with this specific model and as you can see the screen has been damaged over here so what we'll do is we'll uh, remove the screen and we'll put a new screen and I'll show you how it's done. Uh, this is uh, the um, one of uh, HP's uh, laptop which is uh, I'll put the model number in the description sorry I can't see it and I forgot it uh, but yes so um, this is a 15 inch HP laptop and uh, the screen was broken so we'll um, see how to replace the screen the best way is to just hold the bezel and just to pull it apart so it should easily come out like that and then you have the lower base over here it's uh, uh, clipped on to the bezel so you need a prime tool so get a pry tool like this and then you can just put it like that and that should basically release uh, the part under the bezel and then just try to move the bezel and then you can just remove the bezel but before removing it make sure that you have unlocked it completely so once when this is unlocked what you need to do is you need to pull pull it out you need to pull it out like that so I'm just going to show you like that so once when you uh, pull it out it should it should release the, the lock so uh, try to not uh, apply too much pressure because you might break some of the the links and which is very important that you don't break the link so It'll feel a bit strange while you know while you're pulling it out, so that's how it is. That's been taken out, and uh, then you can just remove the 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 top bezel. Now this bezel is is actually glued with this uh, this sticky tape. All you need to do is you can just put a pry over here and just swipe it through the sticky tape and the bezel, and that should basically take it off. Right. After that's done, you have uh, four screws, um, uh, one, two on the bottom and two on the top. So I'm just going to remove that. So just to show you guys that uh, don't open uh, the screws for the bracket. So the screws for the bracket are quite big. The screws for the display are small. So there's one and two and then same goes to the top three. And then over here you have another one which is four. Right. Once you've done that, uh, make sure to just flip the computer, uh, the the top uh, shell like that, and then move it, and that should release the 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 screen. Now over here you have the connector, which is uh, the most important thing. And when you remove the connector, just make sure don't don't bend it upwards, but just pull it straight out. And it's usually it's got tape with it, so you can just um, use your thumb or your finger to remove it, and that should basically pull it out. That's done. So the screen has been uh, taken out. This is the broken screen. And what we'll do is we will replace it with a new one. So this is the, the brand new screen which I've ordered. And as you can see that the, um, the connector bit over here. So all we need to do is uh, how we open the display, we just need to do the reverse. So the first thing is carefully uh, attach the connector because if the connector isn't attached properly, it will not work. And once when you attach the connector uh, with your two thumbs, push the tape to the to the back. It's it's a quite hard sort of tape, and carefully uh, push the connector into the 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 port so that it clips in properly. So yeah, you'll hear a click sound, and after that, just uh, put the tape on the top. Then move the display back to the top shell and place it in the correct position so that you can tighten the screws so whenever you're tightening the screws make sure that you tighten the screws uh, diagonally if it's the bottom right so then you go for the top left and then so on you can do the bottom left yep. and then the top right okay so that's done so before we put on the bezel just let's make sure that it's working and everything is fine so we'll just turn the computer on and if there is enough battery it should turn on 
So yeah, guys, you can see the HP logo. It means that it's turned on. It's fine. And what we'll do is we'll put the bezel on and we'll stick the strip and see the final result. So the bezel doesn't really need any sticky tape. You can just uh, literally, um, you can you can just stick it back on. But if you have got a sticky tape, you can put some over here. All you have to do is put in the lower bit first. Just make sure that you lock it into place properly. It might take some, um, a bit of um, slight push and that would um, bring it into place. And then we'll fix the lower part. So that will basically, the lower bit should sit flush with the upper part. And let's open this part. So as soon as you push that, that will automatically make it um, sit flush. So guys, yeah, the display has been changed. Everything is working fine. And um, that was it. So if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. It's quite easy to replace these screens and to buy um, uh, the replacement screen as well. Uh, I just got it from eBay and um, Yeah, so questions welcome. Hope you liked the video and see you in my next video. Bye for now